that's a decent ball it's right at the bunkers and it's a new fairway from Taylor made it's a sim it's more shape in motion I'll talk about how they look how they feel how they perform dry ball data and out here on the course at Conway Golf Club reality testing I like to call it right at it this microphone is on left hand side of the green I just wanted to stop and try and play one from the fairway because uh, this V steel is a is a reintroduction something that uh, a lot of you will notice from the past and they've reintroduced it into um, the fairways and also into the hybrids and I think it's more recognizable or noticeable rather on the fairway woods in the fact it's just a little bit more raised I noticed in the hybrids to me it wasn't pronounced at all and didn't really see where it fit in this is a titanium head driver that I've got uh, in front of me now, or that I've just played rather. And it does sit uh, very much sort of uh, close to the ground. I like the way it sort of, uh, sort of slides along the turf, if you like, the way I play my three woods from the deck anyway. And it's very nice. I mean, I wouldn't be looking to attempt to play this from anything in the rough, to be honest with you, in terms of three wood. Just a quick mention to the titanium face that's in this particular model. It is definitely hot. Dry ball data, we might as well go on to that into this element now because this thing flew i mean on average whatever it was in that sort of 230 numbers i can't recall exactly but you're seeing it now uh, but i got a couple of balls out there when you went after it again this absolutely fires out and i've got to say in terms of performance out on the course it's done extremely well and that titanium face is without doubt like i said it's pretty hot Right, okay, well, as ever, we're going to have a look at uh, how these things look at the dress. A big change in sort of uh, looks, uh, a massive change, a big departure. I think the M5, M6 being dropped off and this new uh, Sim product line, they've clearly moved uh, in terms of how it looks considerably to move away from that. I love the way it looks from the top line at a dress. I love this uh, great paint job that they've put onto this and this uh, matte carbon crown, I think, personally looks stunning. Um, with the kind of, I always, there's that many names, but with the Max product itself, a bit too much offset for me again uh, just seems that very much closed at address and even enough on this titanium head that i've got to be quite honest with you um, i could notice that and i was slightly off put by it to be honest in terms of v-steel i think it performs very well i think in terms of the max product yes it's definitely a higher ball like considerably higher in terms of how it launches compared to that titanium head with that weight slightly at the front so it depends very much what you're looking for and they've introduced models to meet uh, sort of everybody's criteria overall assessment is kind of okay it doesn't sort of uh, blow me away in terms of performance even though like I said from into the titanium head what it does in terms of yard is yes it's got some real meat in it and, and like I said before hot in terms of the max product if you want something to give you a lot of help getting that ball airborne then yes again it does that but like I said I don't I don't think either club is doing anything that I'm not seeing from other clubs that are out there and other clubs that TaylorMade themselves have brought out. So the other thing I worry about 
shape in motion. There was a story that they could back up in terms of the driver, in terms of the way that driver head was built and the aerodynamic story. I'm not sure how shape in motion translates into both this and to the hybrid into the irons, to be quite honest with you. Um, so it's kind of like it's tweaks on something that was already very good. So it's not this is a bad product. But does it make it any better than M5, M6? I'm not really sure, in this, particularly in the fairways. Um, but again, it's very much each to their own, I suppose. But ultimately, I always look at clubs from the perspective of an average golfer. Am I recommending anybody to go and delve into the pocket and throw out a lot of money on these things? And I would be saying that, yeah, if you want to go and buy a new three-wood right now, if you're struggling with what you've got in your bag, then these are in the mix. They're a fantastic product. Are they miles better than anything that's been introduced before? by Taylor made no it isn't I'm afraid I'm as frank and as brutal as that but but like I said always balancing that out with the fact that that doesn't knock the product it's very good it just hasn't moved the boundary that much further for me from what already exists in their range anyway as ever it's honest and straightforward it's all I can give you it's been out on the course it's been dry ball data good product but not good enough to make me stick it in the bag anyway as ever thanks for watching see you soon